in case if there is any exception here if there is any exception here okay it is showing number format exception so we are not exception here right where we are getting this number format exception when you will get this number format exception while doing type casting you will get this exception in case if you pass any empty string that empty string if you try to type cast there you will get this number format exceptions so where we are doing that job here we are trying to parsing right id2 we are trying to parsing here this empty id2 integer type right here we are getting exception so write this code also in between try catch in case if you get any exception here okay empty strings it will get okay in case if you want to apply server side validations also you can apply validations if id is equal to zero or if name equal to empty string you can send some error messages okay so here you can apply that or else go through out dot println send some warning message here declare them under first under method level default values for name default value for email default value for address default value in case if you enter any invalid field here send error message please enter valid data here we are not applying any validation in case of exception this message it will forward okay we don't have any validation here in case if you required validations also you can write here if id equal to equal to zero you can send error message okay or else if name equal to empty string you can send error message if email equal to equal to empty string you can send error message if address equal to equal to empty string you can send error message okay so in case of id out dot println okay i'll show you validations from javascript later i'll show you here okay just as of now just leave it once again redeploy your application then go through browser now if i send empty data please enter valid data why you are getting this message here in case of empty fields also we are trying to storing data here try to select data here empty data also inserted because we don't have any validation so validations are essential or not required right see without having validations when i submit it is saying enter valid number and as well as the data also it is storing under database okay so that validations are required here so how we can apply that validations using javascript you can apply validations or else from server side also you can apply validations the recommended validations are script level validations okay i'll write simple script validations here Now, how to uh, okay? In, instead of using plain JavaScript, I'll go through jQuery here. So, to use jQuery, add jQuery script first to your form. Open registration form. Under head itself, there is one 
script content using that script add your javascript here javascript jquery api okay use this jquery min.js here then using that jquery you can apply validations here okay how we can do validations use this document dot ready function and read the data here oh, sorry go to your form yeah use one more script here script tag on your form submission read data here on form submit so if your form id if it is registration form on form submit on form submit button on form submit write one function here okay this on submit we can use for forms on form submit you just write a function here in that function read your parameters data how we can read that parameters data here you need to have id attribute here use id id equal to id for name id is name for email id is email for address use one id address using that id is now you can read data how we can read data by using id in jquery you need to use simple dollar of single quotes or double quotes hash put your id is here id dot val it will read value so you can store that value into variable id the next we have one more variable name read name finally email and address okay here apply validations email address here you can apply validations if id equal to equal to zero or name equal to equal to empty string or email equal to equal to empty string or address equal to equal to empty string if anything happens here what you should do you need to add one error message finally you need to return false then your form will not submit it to server else then only you need to submit okay or else you can write multiple if conditions if id equal to zero return false or if name equal to empty string return false if email equal to empty string you can return false if address equal to empty string return false okay shall we use if else here if it is if multiple if conditions it will execute okay i'll do one thing create one boolean variable here variable boolean equal to false okay here instead of returning it yeah store values b equal to false if it is empty string b equal to false if it is empty string keep b equal to false b equal to false finally check else b equal to true you can put here okay finally check condition if b equal to equal to 
फॉल्स रिटर्न फॉल्स एल्स रिटर्न ट्रू गेटिंग दिस स्टेटमेंट इफ एनीथिंग इज जीरो आई एम स्टोरिंग बी इक्वल टू फॉल्स एल्स बी इक्वल टू ट्रू ओके यू कैन यूज एल सी फॉल्स ओ हियर सो फाइनल वॉट इट विल डू इन केस इफ एनीथिंग जीरो और एम टी स्ट्रिंग इट विल कीप फॉल्स आर एल्स इफ विल मेक इट ट्रू फाइनली इफ बुलियन वैली इफ इट इज फॉल्स वी आर रिटर्निंग फॉल्स एल्स वी आर रिटर्निंग ट्रू फ्रॉम हियर ओके देन अलॉन्ग विद दिस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड एर मैसेजेस यू कैन कीप जावा अलर्ट किया अलर्ट आई डी रिक्वाइर्ड अलर्ट नेम रिक्वाइर्ड अलर्ट ई मेल रिक्वाइर्ड alert address required okay and when we need to call this when we need to call this function on form submit on your form submit you need to call this function on form submit it need to execute okay so here my form id keep some registration form okay now on this form submission it will execute this validation is here now try to run this no it is not executing validations one more empty record inserted yes or else write one method here function function name validate my form validate call this function here Okay. Here you can call on submit. Return my form validate. Okay. still script not loaded okay along with this validation we'll see it tomorrow okay